everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at a little SVG animation uh, trick uh, in Ionic. It doesn't really matter that we're in an Ionic application here, you can just do this with SVGs generally. And so what we're going to create is just this little animation uh, with this um, tick here. Uh, so what is going to happen is that when I refresh the application eventually, uh, or we can just replay the animation from down here, uh, we're going to have this uh, tick animate in. And so it's going to animate in with a sort of line drawing effect. So uh, rather than uh, maybe with a typical sort of animation, we'd have it fade in or pop in or slide in on screen. We're actually going to have it draw itself. So if you can see my sort of cursor on the screen now, what it will do is basically start blank and just animate down and then up in a sort of tick uh, motion. And so I call this uh, animation trick because uh, the way in which we do it isn't, um, I don't know, maybe not the way you'd imagine doing it. Uh, it is somewhat of a trick, the effect that we're going to create. Uh, but basically it makes uh, the process of animating any sort of SVG line, whether that's sort of like a circle path or just a general uh, polyline like this one is, we could have this um, in different sorts of shapes. This is a tick, but we could have yeah, squares, circles, an outline of something, uh, it doesn't really matter. So the concept for this uh, effect I uh, discovered on, uh, this was another S uh, CSS Tricks article, uh, this one by Chris Coyer, who I believe is the founder of CSS Tricks in general. Uh, so I'd actually recommend reading this article, it goes into a lot of depth about uh, how it works. Uh, we're just going to do a pretty quick example on screen of implementing this to create this tick animation. And although we won't really be doing much else with it in this video, you could probably imagine some ways you could use this, say in form submissions or uh, button animations and things like that to indicate that something is yeah, complete or finished or whatever. So before we do the animation, I just wanna cover the concept in general. So I'm working with an Ionic stencil application here uh, with most of the things I do in regards to animations uh, it doesn't really matter whether you're using Angular, React, Stencil, or whatever. Uh, all the concepts are going to be basically the same. It might just look a little bit different for you. So basically we have this SVG here and I'll show you in the app. This is uh, just basically just rendered directly onto the home page. And so I've set up a template here that renders out an inline SVG. And this I just got from Ionicons. This is just the uh, the tick or check mark from uh, Ionicons, and rather than using it as an ion icon, uh, typically you might, for example, say ion icon, and then you give the name of the icon you want to use. Uh, I actually just downloaded this directly from the Ionicons website, which you can find at ionicons.com. Uh, so basically, you can just download the source SVG for any of these icons if you want to use them and I've put that in line here so that we can animate it. So if we look at this SVG, we can see it's basically just a single polyline and the points are being drawn on that polyline to create this tick. Uh, I'm not going to go into the specific, uh, specifics of how SVG works here and the different methods. Uh, that's a, a top, much broader topic that I couldn't cover in this video, but uh, the basic idea with the polyline is we provide these points and it's going to draw a line between those points. And since an SVG has a DOM structure, like you can see on screen here, uh, it means we can animate it uh, as we usually would with CSS or uh, JavaScript. So let's look at this polyline here and I'll show you the basic idea of the trick that is covered in this uh, article. So basically I have the line as it is now. We have a stroke width of 32 to make it a, a bolder line. We have some other styling on here. Uh, but the important bit that we need to do for this animation effect is use stroke dash dash array. And what this is going to do is uh, essentially kind of like with a border, if you were to give a border to an element on your page, you can give it a dashed border and that's just going to go around that element with um, dashes instead of a solid line. Uh, same sort of concept here, it's going to break up our solid line into a, an array of dashes. So if I just say dash array uh, 10, for example, you can't really see it that well now, but you can see there's these funny little uh, bumps to the line. But if I increase that to say 50, 
now you can see that dash effect sort of taking place. So our solid line is now a series of dashes. And another important uh, part to this effect is another CSS property called stroke dash offset. Now what this will do is I'll just set it to 10 uh, now and you might have seen that move a little bit there. And this is just going to offset where those dashes are. So if I scroll up and down now, it's going to change this offset value. I'll scroll down. Uh, so you can see as I scroll down, the dashes are basically just getting offset more and more, but it kind of creates this illusion that it's um, just dashes moving along, uh, along a line as if it's animating. And that's the basic concept that we're going to use to achieve our effect. And I can do the same in reverse as well. So what we want to do basically is we want to create a stroke dash array that is big enough so that we only have a single dash uh, on the screen. So for example, if I increase this to 100, you can see well now we have three dashes, they're a bit further apart. 200, we're down to two dashes. 300, um, we have the one dash, but we still need to fill out the entire uh, tick. Otherwise it's not going to look right. Uh, for this instance, uh, a stroke dash array of around 500 is going to fill out this whole uh, tick line uh, with just the one dash. And now this is going to change depending on what sort of SVG you're using. Uh, so it's not the most precise method in the world, but it does create a pretty easy way to achieve the line animation. Now, another thing we are going to do is add a stroke dash offset and we're going to use that to make it so that initially we can't see this dash. So uh, again, if I say stroke dash offset, uh, let's go 100. Uh, you can see that we've lost a bit of our dash here and that's because part of it has moved off screen now or out of the sort of visible area of the tick. So we can keep increasing that and then we'll find that around 500 is where we can no longer see the tick. And that is where we want to start. Uh, because we want it to be off screen initially and then we want to animate it on. So if I decrease this value, you can see that it starts to draw itself on the screen. Now in this case, it's starting from um, the top down. Uh, I don't know if this is just me personally, but I always draw ticks starting from here and I tick up. I don't know if that's a me thing or an everyone thing, but it feels weird to me having the tick going that way. So if we actually set this to negative 500, it's going to uh, animate in from the other direction. So that's the basic concept. We just need to use these properties and we're just going to animate that with CSS. Uh, all we need to do basically is just animate this dash offset uh, and it will draw it for us. So let's actually add that to our application, to the SVG and see what that looks like. So what we're going to do is just add this directly to the CSS for the SVG here. So we're gonna say stroke dash array uh, 500 stroke dash offset negative 500 and now we need to create an animation to animate that from uh, negative 500 to zero so what we're going to do is cre uh, create a keyframe so what we'll do is say at keyframes and we'll give this a, a, a name so we'll just call this draw yeah you don't have to you could call it whatever you like and we want to make this uh, keyframes animation animate to stroke dash offset zero. So when this animation is applied, it's going to change this value to zero. So now we want to apply this uh, keyframe animation to the polyline element in our SVG. So we say animation uh, draw, we'll animate that over say 0.5 uh, of a second. You can make this uh, whatever you like. Uh, we'll give that an ease in easing so it uh, starts slower and then speeds up towards the end of the animation and another important property is the fill mode we want this to be uh, forward or uh, forwards rather uh, and so basically what we want is for the element to retain the properties of the animation so when this animation finishes we want it to keep a stroke dash offset of uh, zero so we'll save that go back into the browser and we'll refresh that. And you can see we have the tick animating on screen there. Uh, I've just got the animations um, 
debugging uh, console up here. So if you uh, just click on this, the animation that was captured in there, we can sort of repeat that animation. We can even sort of drag, uh, drag along the animation to inspect what it looks like as it's executing more slowly if we like. Uh, but yeah, that is the basic idea. We can play around with the easings uh, or the timing of that if we wanted. Maybe we want a bit of a, a quicker tick. Maybe you want ease in out easing to change the animation a bit. And you can see now it's a much faster tick. Uh, so yeah, you can play around with this, uh, but the general concept is pretty simple to implement, I think. Uh, you just have that dash array to create a dashed um, SVG line. Uh, you could also do it to other uh, SVG uh, methods as well. It doesn't have to be a polyline. It could be uh, anything that supports creating a stroke dash array and dash offset. And so we create that dash array, get the dash line and increase the offset enough to where we can only see the one dash and it's off out of the visible area. And then we just animate it back on by reducing the dash offset. So that was a pretty wordy explanation. And I think the concept in general can be a bit hard to um, come to terms with initially, but once you've got it, I think it is a pretty pretty simple method and a really sort of cheap and easy way to get a cool line animation that looks like uh, an element is being drawn in. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, do feel free to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.